systems that we've built as a prototype to be able to show the power of an AMD SOC, or what we call a system on a chip. And the difference between this and any other system is it allows you to be able to transfer all of your data through a DisplayPort cable, as well as USB and power. So you can see this small box here has a USB connection, okay. HDMI connection, and a power connection. All of that in one box, and then it's uh, duplexed into a, a mini display port or a mic micro Michael. display port. <laughs> and that goes into the back of the system. And so then the this whole is system already, is it's already in here. Right. Yeah, that's your full SOC system right there which allows you to be able to uh, add a camera into the system. And so you can do things like gesture. So if you were to add this to the top of your TV, make it your home theater PC, you'd be able to stand in front of it and make it a gesture-based system. Mm -hmm. I had a keyboard. But it's gone. <laughs> around here, but it's, yeah. Uh, so we'll log into it here in a little bit when I find that keyboard, but uh, Nano PC shows the power of a full system on a chip. Uh, gives you the ability to play with uh, latest and greatest items from um, Microsoft, like your wireless controller here. You could do a Bluetooth or a wireless uh, sound from it, and uh, any other USB 3.0 items. So that's the Nano PC. Then we'll take a look at our uh, Discovery tablet. These are uh, prototype tablets that we've built to show the power of our Mullins processor, our Mullins mm -hmm. family processors. And so you've seen a video playing here. You can uh, essentially use this as a regular Windows tablet. You'll be able to hit the start button, slide through there, see all your different apps that are on the system. And the uh, nice thing about the Discovery tablet is it allows you to be able to connect through Mini DisplayPort. Mm -hmm. That way you can um, power everything through your mini display port. So if you have a dock like this, you would dock the tablet into the productivity dock through the mini display port. You would get everything from power, you could do external displays on these two, you can get your uh, network in there, and then your USBs as well. So if you have a Windows tablet, you want to take your Windows tablet with you anywhere you want to go, bring it home or to work, dock it into the uh, Discovery Productivity Dock, and now it's a full desktop PC. Gives you an all-in-one solution. So what do you have so you inside this uh, Productivity Dock? So in the dock, uh, nothing additional other than speakers and a small motherboard that allows you to connect up your USB and everything we showed you on the top. Okay. The processor and the APU, everything is inside the, the, tablet. the tablet itself. Yeah. Okay. Um, eventually, we could allow you to be able to add uh, maybe an, a fan in here. Yeah. So when you dock it, you could uh, raise your TDP up and allow the system to run a little faster when it's docked. Is it the same thing as what uh, what I saw in the internet? It's like you could add another dock that, like, just like the razors. Um, very similar. It's the same thing. Yeah, right? very very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, there we go. So you're running a. What? This is on Bluetooth, right? Yeah, this is on Bluetooth. It's um, so the system does have Bluetooth built into it. Um, you uh, can... What else? What else? Do you? Does it have Wi-Fi or? Yeah, it does have Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah, you can see down here. IR. What about IR? Does it... not have IR. Um, that is something that I have on the wish list for these, but <laughs> I have not seen it yet. So yeah, you can see it does have uh, Wi-Fi built in to the system itself, and then uh, also uh, Bluetooth. I think they have the Bluetooth icon down here. Yep, there it is. So Bluetooth is there. And then also um, Gesture is active. So Gesture is a piece of software that comes for free mm -hmm. with any AMD APU uh, A10 and A8, I believe it is. Uh, you can go to the Catalyst Control Center. So if you right click on the desktop of any AMD based system and you go into that Catalyst Control Center, if it's connected to the internet, it has an information page which will give you a link where you can go download what we call the AMD Elite Experience software. 
So an A10 or an A8 based system Could will give you right. that software for free. Yeah, and so you can get gesture, um, you can get uh, quick sync. Let's see if we can go and show that. I'm not sure if it'll show up here, but usually on the advanced view. Can it the can the Nano PC run independently from from like itself? It just shows like you're using it as a, um, let's say, just a camera or for the gesture thing? Uh, you could, but you would definitely need a monitor of some sort to be able to get it to give but you a full Having experience. another, like a more powerful uh, PC, mm -hmm. would that be possible? I've not seen any ability to connect to another system yet. Mm -hmm. uh, not that I know of. Um, technically, it may be possible, but I've never seen it, so I don't know for sure. But yeah, this page would be the page where you find the link to advanced uh, it's Elite Experience software that's available for any AMD-based uh, APU system. Now okay. get your hand. So as you can see, gesture is active on this system. So as I move my hand around, the cursor moves around on the screen. I can go down and hit start and choose from a number of different start items. I believe we have a game running there, yep. So you can go through and race. So if I was going to start the race, I'd pick up my controller, which I've got connected through the USB there. And so you can see a good gaming experience, above 30 frames per second. Looks like we are correct. Just with the Nano PC. Right. And that's just with a single nano PC there.